Clinton finally realized that not only did she not have the numbers to catch up to Barack Obama among delegates, she also no longer had the support of any of her uh, closest friends and allies in the Democratic Party. What finally motivated this was a phone conversation she had with congressional supporters. She called them basically to say, I'm thinking about my next moves, what should I do? And they very clearly gave her a message that she needed to drop. As much as she was the candidate that they supported, the numbers were not there for her and that she needed to bring a resolution to this in order that the party could get behind Barack Obama. This was a candidacy that came on like a gangbuster. She was supposed to win walking away. There was not even supposed to be any competition. Barack Obama was such a phenomenon that nobody anticipated and her campaign wasn't ready for clearly and she wasn't up to the challenge of, of, of knocking back the kind of phenomenon that he was. But she's also a realist. Hillary Clinton is a cold-eyed very, very uh, realistic politician. She knows that she fought a good fight, the numbers weren't there, and it was time to make the final decision. She did so a little bit later than a lot of Democrats would have liked. A lot of Democrats would have liked her either to get out before the final primaries or certainly on the night that Barack Obama clinched. She chose not to do that, but you know, she, she did so the next day, and, and from what I'm told by sources, she's, she's clear-eyed about it and, and, and feels fine.